name is Biranth and I am currently working in JP Morgan as an associate. So guys, I started uh, uploading videos, started making new videos on many of my friends' requests. So this time I am going to upload uh, some videos on logical programming. And uh, one more thing guys, uh, I am not, uh, you know, the regular YouTuber or video maker. So if anything uh, wrong or while uh, talking or anything, please excuse and guys this is the channel take appearance so you can subscribe this channel and also share with your friends and there are other videos also available i have uploaded so this is basically to help for all the uh, job experience so i'll be very much happy if you guys find anything that need i need to improve so i will do it from my side so let's start so mm, this is the first programming la, uh, logical programming i'll be i'll be starting today and after that we'll be moving to different different programming videos so in all videos basically uh, i'll be talking in very much in depth and uh, with proper understanding and explanation so guys if you think uh, uh, it should be in more clear clear way so please let me know so i will try uh giving more explanation in a proper way okay so let's understand the problem first so this question was asked when i was attending the amazon interview so what they told like see this is the problem statement they given and this is the example they given and this is what they told you can uh, you know uh bring out the same output right so let's understand the problem for a given area of transactions group all the transaction by item name so what they are saying uh, for a given area of transaction we have the transactions right transaction it may be uh, what when you are doing shopping on amazon right so you are doing multiple transactions like adding multiple items in your cart so that is nothing but one kind of transactions right so they are saying they have given the area of transactions right so this is the area of transaction which contains some item right uh, now what they are saying group all the transaction by item name okay so they are saying group first make understand the statement first group the transaction by item name so grouping means the same kind of transactions let's say we have two uh, matching product or item so we need to group it as one and count would be two because there are two times we have selected the same item right now what they are saying return an array of a string where each string contains the item name followed by a space and number of associated transaction they are saying return an array that array should be containing the string means this item name only okay with a space and also with the associated transaction means how how many times that uh, particular item has added or how many times that is getting repeated so basically see so here in this case we have purged two times right so we have grouped as one and associated transaction is two so what we are they are saying with space so if you see the output required output so what they are saying so we have to return an array right this is an array with the item name jeans let's say jeans is the item name and also with the space they have provided the space in between right and with the associated transaction count so two times this jeans has been selected right same way purse two times and belt one time now what uh, they are saying again then sort the array in descending order by transaction count first they are saying sort the descending order in descending order so it will be like you know uh, first it will be purse space two then it will be jeans then at end it will be built right now they are saying uh, then ascending alphabetically uh, alphabetically by item name for item with matching transaction counts right again they are saying at the end uh, you have to make it in ascending order with uh, based on the alphabetical order uh, based on the name of the transactions and with their count right so this is the final output right hope you understand so let's code it to understand in